All right, star 1800 Algebra 1 with loves by a professor of Ferragaris Jr., video number 41, Giant College Algebra Final Review. 0, 5, 30, 124, all right, solve this exponential function. All right, before I do that, you need money for tuition, fees, books, software, stuff like that. If you know where. Our margin makes a cafe open 24 hours. Great boss, great work, great food. But you don't need money. You got lots of money. You don't need this. They just say you don't need it. You got lots of cash. All right, so now to solve this right here, what I'm going to do is take that log of both sides, ln of both sides. Now, this this right here, 5x plus 6, goes to the front. Okay, from this formula right here. Now, ln of e is a 1 from this formula right here. So I want to use 1. 1 times that is this. 5x plus 6 equals that. Minus 6 minus 6. So now 5x equals this. Divide by 5. And I put parentheses around it like this. So x equals parentheses ln of 11 minus 6 divided by 5. Now, can you do that in a calculator? Uh, yeah, let's just do that. Okay. So let's put parentheses ln this one 11 uh minus six parentheses close it divided by five gives me negative point seven two zero four two zero nine five four five four take numbers okay so we'll round it off let's round it off from here let's round it to negative point seven eight two it's good enough and food, the shark just says food, please. Anyway, example, negative 0.72 minutes ago, less than a minute ago, the shark found you in the sea. Hey, I found you. I know where you are. I'm going to go over there right now. This one, solve this. Mm, again, we're going to write this. This number to this power is this. Okay, like that. And then... I wrote it like that. Now let me you want know me put the format down just because. Just because. If you have a log base b of y equals x, then b to the x power is y. This to this is that. And I call this wax on, wax off. That's just a formula, okay? So we're gonna use that right there. We're gonna use this right here, this formula right here. We're gonna use it right now. Base, 8 to the 3, negative 3 power is this. So 8 to the negative 3 is there, and then it equals 5x, 5x, 5, 112 to the x. But this is, let's see, 2 divides 512, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2 divides. It keep going all the way down, prime numbers. And it's 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2 or 512 is 8 times 8 times 8, or 8 to the 3 power. I'm going to use that because this is a match one. You'll see what happens. So 8 to the negative 3, right here. Now, 512 is 8 to the 3 power. So we have 8 to 3x, 8 to negative 3, 8 to 3x, 8 to negative 3. Bases are the same, gone. Remember that? x and that, x is y. So now 3x is this, divided by 3 by 3, so x is what? Negative 1, that's it? Yeah, that's it. Once you rewrite it, you got it. Example. One hour ago, the shark was zero feet from you. One hour ago. Shark with zero feet in here. Solve this one. Divide by four by four, five over four. Take the log, take the log of both sides. I look log base 10. And I'll show you why in a second. Well, put the number in front. It's log base 10 of 10. This right here is one. So I'll replace it with a one. Times one minus x is one minus x. And copy this one. So minus one minus one. So negative x equals this. Multiply by negative one, negative one, all the way across. So x, positive x equals negative log five fourths minus minus is a plus so there's our answer now can you put that in the calculator sure we can put it in the calculator let's do that right now so one plus or minus log log five divided by four is that it one minus five divided by four is point nine zero three zero all these numbers so we just round it off to 0 0.903. How was that? Okay. So in, in 0 0.903 minutes, there will be a shark joint. There will be a shark joining you for lunch. How's that? All right. This one says find f of 14. So I'm just going to put 14 in there. 
So 2 times 14 is 28. 28 minus 10 is 27. 27 is really going to be 3 times 3 times 3 or 3 to the 3 power. Now, if you bring the 3 to the front, you know that log base 3 of 3 is 1. So this right here is going to be a 1. So 1 times that is 3. So you have 3 minus 2, and 3 minus 2 is 1, right? No, you don't know that? Okay, I'll do it. 3 minus 2 is 1. You see that? 1. So f of 14 is 1. So as an example of this. In 14 seconds, the shark will swim 1,000 feet. How's that? This one says f of x equals this log function right here. Solve f of x equals 2. So we're going to go set this equal to 2. Add 2, add 2. So now it's 4. Again, we're going to go this number to this power is this. Right, this one right here. Once I do that, then I say 3, 3, 3, 3 is 81. Add 1, add 1 to both sides. And then do this cancel? Yes, of course I do. So now I have 82 equals 2x divided by 2 divided by 2, 41. So x is what? 41. 41 equals x or x equals 41. An example, in 41 seconds, a shark will be two feet from you in the sea. How's that? I love sharks, yes. It's great. I like pets. All right, this one says f of x equals zero. So it means set equal to zero. So now, add two, add two. So you got this. So this number to this power is this. Again, we're using this right here. Wax and wax off formula. This number to this power is this. Three, three is nine. Equals that. And what did I do? Uh, add one, add one, so 10 equals 2x, divide by, divide by 2, divide by 2, so x is 5 equals x, x equals 5. That's it, we're done. So in 5 seconds, the shark will be 0 feet from you. This one. There is a function, and it says, when is this function equal to 205, 205? So this is equals 205, so they say the shark is 760, I don't know, whatever, feet away from you. But... Time goes by, it'll get closer. So let's solve this. Divide, divide. Log, log. Put the number in front, always. Log ln of e is a 1. 1 times that is this. So now we have ln of this number equals this. Divide by negative 0 0.145, negative 0 0.145, and x equals this number. Can you do it in the calculator? Yes, of course. Let's do it in the calculator. So you have ln of 205 divided by 760 divided by negative 0 0.145, is that right? You get 9.0366, so on. Yep, <clears throat> or round it out to 9.04. All right, so in 9.04 seconds, the shark will be 205 feet from you at Mustang Island. Okay, got closer. How about this one? When is it going to be 500 feet away? So start, 550. So equal to 550. Divide by that. Divide by that. Take ln both sides. This this stays right there. Ln of, this is going to be, ln of E is a 1. So 1 times that. It's the same number. Now I divide by what? Negative 0 0.145. Negative 0 0.145. Negative 0 0.145. Goes away, so x is this number. Can you do it in the calculator? Of course you can. Let's just do it. So ln five five zero divided by seven sixty divided by negative zero point one four five is this number here? Two point two three zero three four. All these numbers. Round it. Two point two three. So now. That's it, we're done. Give me like that, round it down. So in 2.23 seconds, 2.23 seconds, the shark will be 500 feet away from you in the sea at 2.38 a.m. This one, oops. So now, well, boat's moving, sharks are there somewhere. 50%, okay, so this gives you a probability of a shark attack, let's say, in how many years? So let's say it's 50% chance there's gonna be a shark attack. When? when? When is that? Within how many years? So minus one, minus one, so we have this. 
But when they want negative one, these are gone. So you have e to this power equals this, 0.50. Ln, Ln, power goes in front. Ln of e is a one. One times that is this. So we have this equals Ln 50, 0.50. Divide, divide. So Ln x equals this number here. Okay, can we do it in the calculator? Of course. Let's do it. Ln of, Ln of 0.50. Divided by negative 0 0.2. It's this number here, 3.465, so on. All these numbers. Round it, 3.47. That's it. So, what does that mean? There is a 50% probability of a shark attack on the Texas coast. Yep, in the next 3.47 years. That's what's going to happen. There's a 50% chance that's going to happen. Uh, what about 90% chance? Oh. All right, again, set point nine equals this. Let's try from both sides. You get this, multiply by 81, 81. These are gone, so you have e to this power equals this. Ln, Ln, power goes to the front always. And Ln of e is one. So one times that is the same thing. So now I'll divide by negative 0 0.2, negative 0 0.2. These are gone, so we have this answer. Again, calculator, yes, of course. <clears throat> Ln, 0.10. Divided by negative 0 0.2 is 11, 5, 1, 2, 9, so on. There it is. That's it. All these numbers. So, round it, 1151. So, there is a 90% probability of a shark attack on the Texas coast in the next, what? 11.51 years. 90% chance. This one it says, what is f of x equal to two? So this original problem equal to two. Divide by 10, divide by 10, that's gonna be 0.2. Ln, Ln, again, power goes in front. Ln of e is one, times this is this number, equals Ln 0.2. Divide, divide, so I ended up with this number here. Can you do it in the calculator? Yes, of course you can. Let's do it. So Ln point. 2 divided by negative 0 0.6 is 2.68 and all these numbers 2.68 23 96 51 yeah all right so now round it 2.68 that's it i guess so example you go to the dentist because you have eight bad teeth you take them out puts painkiller in there so you can take all those teeth out that are bad so after 2.68 hours, you will have two units of the painkiller from your dentist on a visit. Okay. So originally you got 10 units of this painkiller. Good news, 2.68 hours later, you only have two units left of that. So I guess you're almost ready to drive your truck. Almost, not yet. Close. DWI formula, okay. So if your blood alcohol is 0.04, blood alcohol concentration, then you have a 10% chance of an accident in your Texas truck. So let's just solve this. That's really what we're doing. So let's solve for K. So I'm divide by three, divide by three. So 10 over three, LN, LN. And always this goes to the front. And then of this equals that. Now, this one right here. Now LN E is one. So one times that is this. So now we have LN of 10 over three equals this. Divide by 0 0.04, 0 0.04, 0 0.04, you get this. And let me do it in the calculator just to show you that it gives you that number. So ln of 10 divided by 3 divided by 0 0.04 is 30.099, all these numbers. But we're going to round it up to 30.10. That's good enough. So... The original formula is right there. So for K, now we know that K is what? 30.10. So R, the risk factor of a accident in your truck, 3 e to the power of this. New, new, new. That one right there. Now, using this formula, you're going to find other things. What happens if your blood alcohol concentration is 0 0.11, 0 0.11? So put 0 0.11 in there, times that, is this number, and e to the power of that, is that what it's going to be? Second LN 3.311 
yep, it's 27, that number, times three, gives you 82 point all these numbers, okay. But round it off to 82, okay. So you have an 82 percent, you have an 82 percent probability of an accident in your Trixus truck if your blood alcohol concentration is what? 0.11 or 0.11. Also, in Texas, your blood alcohol concentration is greater than or equal to 0 0.08, go to jail. Go to jail, go to jail. All right, 100 percent. What, what blood alcohol gives you a 100 percent chance of crashing your truck, an accident? So that equal to 100, divide by 3, divide by 3, so 100 over 3 is this. So now, ln, ln, again, what happens to this power goes to the front, ln of E is 1. So we have this number here, times that. So ln of this equals point equals 30.10, divide by 30.10, 30.10, cancels out. So we have this number. Again, put it in the calculator, of course. ln of 100 divided by 3 divided by 30.10 is 0 0.11649, all these numbers, okay. Or I'm gonna round it off to 0 0.116. Okay, so if, so you have a 100% probability of an accident in your Texas truck, if you're driving it and your blood alcohol concentration is what? 0 0.116. So you have a hundred percent, yes, a hundred percent if you ever cause this. You can see red color, nothing, nothing, zero. Your actions are gone. So Texas law, if you're 0.08 or more, go to jail. Go to jail, go to jail. Go to jail. What's what alcohol gives you a 15% chance? Alright, so this equals 15. Divide by three, divide by three. So you have five, ln, ln. This number goes to the front. Ln of E is one. One times that is this. And then 5 equals this, now I divide by 30.110, 30.10. So that's the answer. Is it right? I don't know. Let's, let's just check in the calculator. Ln of 5, ln of 5 divided by 30.10 is 0 0.0534, all these numbers. Yep. Or round it to 0 0.05. So if you're blood alcohol, so you have a 15% probability of an accident in your Texas truck if you're driving it, if your blood alcohol concentration is what? 0 0.05. 0 0.05 gives you a 15% chance of an accident. Again, Texas law says your blood alcohol is greater than 0 0.08, go to jail. Go to jail, go to jail. Evaluate without a calculator. Oh, use your brain. That's okay, we can do that. All right, so now, 51 you can go to the front. If you have a log, you can put it in front like that. And what formula do I use? You know, you know what? I'll just write the formula for you. So you have log base seven of I don't know a to the n. That's the same thing as n times log base seven of a. Okay, it goes to the front like that. Okay. Alright, so we have 51. We get to the front. And log base 7 of 7 is right here. Log base 7 of 7 is 1. 1 times 51. Answer is 51. Evaluate without a calculator. Okay. So log B to the power of log base B of M. These kind of cancel out if you think of it that way. It just lets you with M. So we have 5 to the log base 5 of 6, which is this right here, formula. What's going to happen? You're just going to get what? 6. That's it. Use your brain. Evaluate without a calculator. Okay. What? That's it? Math is fun. I agree. Yes. Yes. Out to surfing, Rockport, Club Dragon, Must Island, Corpus Christi, all those places out there. Got lots of money. Go to Hawaii. Spend your thousands of dollars out there. The big old North Shore. Big old 45 foot waves. I break your surfboard. Doesn't matter. You can take the kills off. Math you know. Monster? No. It's fun. Seven. They're pretty scary. Seven, yeah, there's two is pretty scary. Numbers, seven, seven, no. Crunchy one, pretty scary. Crunchy two, crunchy three, pretty scary. Yeah. Yeah, but college algebra final review was more scary, huh? Anyway, Professor Alfredo Garvey Jr. say good luck. Again, Professor Alfredo Garvey Jr. say good luck. 
Professor Phil, get out of his room. Good luck, good luck in your final exam. Giant review. Bye.